Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and to day eight of the Jelly Postcard Play Challenge. And I am going to pick a card at random today. Ooh, that's a nice fall color. This was a book page that I was using as a brayer off sheet. And then I used my jelly plate to get to, to um, make some patterns over the top of it with an ink thing. My eight came off of a um, shoe box. I wear size eight shoes. Now everybody in the world knows I wear size eight, sometimes eight and a half. Sometimes, you know, nines, depending upon what I'm trying to wear them for. All right, uh, let's decide. I've got some really big butterflies. We're still in our butterfly season, and I have some big butterflies. That's too big. That's maybe not big enough. Do I have something in between? Let's see what I have here. Ooh, is that the same set? No, that's... That's bigger. I like him. There we go. Here's our butterfly for today. A nice big old butterfly. So we want him down there, but we need another layer underneath him. And I think I have some... I have some of this. This isn't really sewing. Come on. My butterfly doesn't want to come off of there. But, I, but that would certainly add another layer. But I want to be careful not to cover up all my pieces here. Butterfly does not want to stand up. Just get up. I don't think I like it. I don't think I want the, the uh, sewing piece in there. So do I have something? I have a bright, bright orange. I'll pull my things over here. Do I want the bright orange? And we can do more than one color. Okay, you know what? I'm going to put a little bit of bright orange right down here because I have a spot that the paint didn't cover. So let's go ahead and cover that up. Put that away right away. We're going to take that off because that's used. Grab my glue stick. Um, I know that uh, uh, different people use different glues to make their things stick. Um, a lot of people use the liquid gel medium. I think I don't, I've never used it before and I really don't want to start by using it on camera the first time. So let's put this right down here and it covers it up. I mean you can still see the lines through it a little bit but it, that covers up the white. So I like this. Maybe we'll just add a thin strip to the top. Do I want it to go that way or do I want it to go this way? I guess we'll find out when I put it down, right? It's a little bit light over there too, but I'm okay with that. I think I like it this way. So I still have to put my eight down. See, I have a lot of, I'm gonna put it here and then put my eight right in the middle. Okay, hang on. Uh, let me grab my rusty hinge. I wanna find my rusty hinge orange. Right on top, that's unexpected. Rusty Hinge Orange, and there's my Rusty Hinge Orange. I'm just going to make this a little bit orangey. And I like the torn edge. It came right off that box. It didn't quite get very orangey over there. There, a little bit of orange to it just to 
give it a little something. Although I put that away and I think I may want to do the outside edge as well. I haven't done the outside edges except for the last one. And I kind of liked how it looked. So before I put everybody down, let's go ahead and do the edge here. And you know what? I'm going to throw a little bit of extra orange right over there in that corner and cover up that white a little bit. There we go. I'll just post it in there a little bit. I might do the same down here in this corner because there's a little bit more white down there from the book page. Yeah, I like that. All right. Now I need my glue stick back. Actually, you know what? I don't want to do either one of these with my glue stick. I'm going to do them with Fabri-Tac. <clears throat> these are a heavier um, cardstock, and the eight is very definitely cardboard. So I want to make sure that they stick. So I am using Fabri-Tac. Other people might use art glitter glue. I don't have any art glitter glue. And so I am, I want to put you down a little bit and over just a, t a hair. There we go. Now what you are missing, I think I could do it with this. Is that the right? Yeah. There, we'll give them two little antennae. And then we'll put on our eight. Yeah, you get your numbers from anywhere, and this particular one came from a shoebox. And it's going to be the focal point of this particular postcard. So there we go, day eight of Jelly July Challenge. Jelly Postcard Challenge. No, okay, let's try this again. Jelly Postcard Play in the July 31 Day Challenge as posted by Carrie Griffiths, also known as Carrie the Crafter. If you are enjoying these videos, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Click like if you uh, are enjoying them as well to let YouTube know that you like them. And in the meantime, this is Cindy signing off.